Hello, everyone. Our prayer today is from the Lutheran Service Book, page 296. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Listen to my prayer, O God. Do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. Evening, morning, and noon. I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Glory, Glory be, be to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Let's sing an Easter hymn, number 475. Good Christian friends, rejoice and sing. 475 in the Lutheran service. Good Christian friends, rejoice and sing. Now is the triumph of our King. To all the world glad news we bring. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord of life is risen this day. Bring flowers of song to strew his way. Let all the world rejoice and say, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Praise we in songs of victory, that love, that life which cannot die, and sing with hearts uplifted high. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your name we bless, O risen Lord, and sing today with one accord. The life laid down, the life restored. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. And the psalm today is Psalm 89 that I will read for you. Psalm 89. I will sing of the steadfast love of the Lord forever. With my mouth I will make known your faithfulness to all generations. For I said, Steadfast love will be built up forever. In the heavens you will establish your faithfulness. You have said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. I will establish your offspring forever and build your throne for all generations. Let the heavens praise your wonders, O Lord your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can be compared to the Lord? Who among the heavenly beings is like the Lord, a God greatly to be feared in the council of the holy ones, and awesome above all who are around him? O Lord, God of hosts, who is mighty as you are, O Lord? with your faithfulness all around you. You rule the raging of the sea. When its waves rise, you still them. You crushed Rahab like a carcass. You scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. The heavens are yours. The earth also is yours. The world and all that is in it, you have founded them. The north and the south, you have created them. Tabor and Hermon joyously praise your name. You have a mighty arm, strong is your hand, high your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundation 
of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. Blessed are the people who know the festal shout, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your face, who exult in your name all the day, and in your righteousness are exalted. For you are the glory of their strength. By your favor, our horn is exalted. For your shield belongs to the Lord, our King, to the Holy One of Israel. Of old you spoke in a vision to your godly one and said, I have granted help to one who is mighty. I have exalted one chosen from the people. I have found David my servant with my holy oil i have anointed him so that my hand shall be established with him my arm also shall strengthen him the enemy shall not outwit him the wicked shall not humble him i will crush his foes before him and strike down those who hate him my faithfulness and my steadfast love shall be with him and my name shall be his horn to be exalted. I will set his hand on the sea and his right hand on the rivers. He shall cry to me, you are my father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. I will make him the firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth. My steadfast love I will keep for him forever, and my covenant I will stand firm for him. I will establish his offspring forever, and his throne as the days of the heavens. If his children forsake my law and do not walk according to my rules, if they violate my statutes and do not keep my covenants, my commandments, then I will punish their transgression with the rod and their iniquity with stripes but I will not remove from him my steadfast love or be false to my faithfulness. I will not violate my covenant or alter the word that went forth from my lips. Once for all I have sworn by my holiness, I will not lie to David, his offspring shall endure forever. His, his throne as long as the sun before me, like the moon, it shall be established forever, a faithful witness in the skies. But now you have cast off and rejected. You are full of wrath against your anointed. You have renounced the covenant of your servant. You have defiled his crown in the dust. You have breached all his walls and have laid his strongholds in ruins. All who pass by plunder him. He has become the scorn of his neighbors. You have exalted the right hand of his foes. You have made all his enemies rejoice. You have also turned back the edge of his sword. And you have not made him stand in battle. You have made his splendor to cease and cast his throne to the ground. You have cut short the days of his youth. You have covered him with shame. How long, O Lord, will you hide yourself forever? How long will your wrath burn like fire? Remember how short my time is. For what vanity you have created all the children of man. What man can live and never see death? Who can deliver his soul from the power of Sheol? Lord, where is your steadfast love of old, which by your faithfulness you swore to David? Remember, O Lord, how your servants are mocked, and how I bear in my heart the insults of all the many nations, with which your enemies mock, O Lord, with which they mock the footsteps of your anointed. Blessed be the Lord forever. Amen and Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us. O Christ, have mercy upon us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all the members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Blessed Lord Jesus Christ, at the noonday hour you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms to embrace the world in your death. Grant that all people of the earth may look to you and see your salvation. For your mercy's sake we pray. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be among us all. Amen. Amen.